Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how I do use my Alesis VI25 MIDI controller to make loops on Ableton, as a couple of you requested me. This is um, a very nice keyboard. We have 16 pads, 25 keys and three lines of 24 switches and they need a good setup to work properly. We have to prepare a proper live set. I personally like to see these as the column, okay, in vertical and in horizontal, of course. Now, I pair this bottom line with the recording buttons, like this. You press the MIDI, we click here, and you can see here what you are pairing. With the second line, I want to stop the single tracks here to the main stop of this track. Okay. Next one. With the first line, I want to control the playback button. So we go here to the first with this. This. We need to connect the sustain pedal, which is connected to the sustain input pedal, of course, of the Alesis, with the session button. This is the session button, okay? We click here, and then we click here. Now, if you want that your audience does not listen to the metronome, this is what you have to do. You go to the queue out and select another output line it depends on your sound card and the routing, etc. We arm the drum. We go here and in the pre-counting we put this, one bar. So we have four free clicks before we start. Let's set the metronome time to whatever time we want to use. And let's go. One, two, three, four. This is very important. You have to press the sustain pedal before the first beat of the next sequence. Let's go on. Uh, we want to go with the roads, okay? We press here. to play with the piano we don't touch the mouse we our goal is just to use this okay now the piano is on okay now there is a little trick if I press this row it stays toggled but these are momentary, okay? Now, this is the Alesis VI25 editor. First of all, we have to go to the device setup and insert the MIDI in VI25, MIDI out VI25. I can set these two lines to momentary, like this. From the 1st to the 16th, then from the 17th to the 24th, we want it to be toggled. And then we go to main here and send the preset to the hardware. We select the slot, any slot you want, and you send it. This is the only change that I made with Alesis VI25 editor. Okay guys, and that was pretty much it. Hope I did cover all of your doubts and questions. If you have further, let me know in the comments, leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe to the channel if you wish. Bye.